mentioned here as well, NT2. So, um, Peter, give us your perspective on the energy transition. Where's the objectives? Where's the reality? Right, and, and we talked earlier, and you said that I could either stand up or sit down right from my genetics. One side of my family comes from a long line of Mormon preachers, so they, they'd naturally be up preaching and walking back and forth. The, uh, the Huntsman side of the family, unfortunately, were all bartenders, which means I should be sitting here in a semi stoop, you know, just, just kind of valuable. Uh, these, these sort of events are. And the two pre uh, just a, a legend in this industry. I hope that all of you have an opportunity when this is complete to be more resolute to get out and do something, to get out and speak with the policymakers because the, the entire green, this whole energy transition that's going on, whether it's from an investor point of view, political point of view, scientific point of view, a societal point of view, Thunberg. That's meant to be a joke. Um, <laughs> happened to remove one of her tweets from five years ago where she's quoting uh, Dr. Anderson from the Harvard uh, School of, of Climatology or Cosmetology or whatever it is. And uh, saying that uh, five years hence, we would have to completely be done with hydrocarbons. You remember the, the whole people gluing themselves to the streets and throwing tomato soup on paintings and so forth. I mean, think about that. What are we doing to get out and actually do something that's going to help policymakers understand what it is that, that we're in for here? And as we look at this industry, this industry is the solution provider. You do not build a solar panel, you do not build a windmill, you do not lightweight aviation, you do not build home insulation, building insulation, you do not build a smart power grid, you do not build a high tech, most importantly, you don't develop a world where there's still four and a half billion people that get up every morning and want something better for their children. And want to be able to, to, to provide sustenance. And want to be able to have an opportunity that all of us in this room have had sometime, somewhere in our lives, some through very hard work and some of them having the appropriate last name. But either way, I mean, when you think about it, we have the keys. It is our industry. We need to be able to stand up to the, to the bankers and the public. As we go through this, between the company he worked with and, and Dow Chemical, producing salad bowls. They couldn't sell enough of them, so they welded, they melted the edges of the salad bowl. Greenpeace and the Sierra Club and all these groups came and gave them awards because it was preserving food. It could be, it was 100% recyclable and it, it, you could reuse these things over and over and over again. You didn't have all the food that was being spoiled. It was, you know, Starting with something as basic as a hamburger container and going, that's the hallmark of the great industry. And we're immensely proud to be part of the industry. So we look forward to the discussion here. I look forward to it. Especially with these wonderful colleagues. Thank you, Peter. A couple of weeks ago for Sierra Week, um, we're talking about energy transition. And um, I think it would help as a starting point if we could reduce the temperature setting on, on the AC controls in Hilton's America. That's the first step. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm not the only one that was freezing. Okay. From tanks or valves or, or what, uh, what may be. So it's, it's not new. It's a new label, label but it's not new. Um, I think we, personally from, from Kuwait, I know the refineries that I worked in previously were all first quartiles. All that has been happening so far has been very self-sustaining because it's paid for itself, it's made economic sense. I think this is where a lot of the struggle at this pivot point right now is in terms of uh, the, the question of who's going to pay. I was really looking forward to that session. Relatives, which as you correctly mentioned, uh, are, are very much... Uh, an, uh, a, a, um, I think we uh, as well um, have uh, a, a track record as an industry.